Hey guys, it's Dodge News Vlogs, and today I'm going to bring you a little uh, story time about a uh, teacher that I used to know. Now, this was my uh, ninth grade physics teacher, and for the sake of this, he's retired now, luckily, so I think for the sake of this, I'm going to just call him Phil, alright? Now this Phil guy, as you may know from the title, uh, quite liked his gas, alright? I don't know for sure, but all signs point to the fact that he was stoned uh, all the fucking time. So, I just want to give you guys a few uh, tales of Mr. Phil, the stoner. So, I think the first question you're going to be asking about Mr. Uh, Phil here is, uh, did he actually smoke up? And, I guess technically I don't know for sure, but I think I just want to say that I got some pretty good evidence. I think the first thing we're going to be looking at is just simply his appearance. Now, I'm not going to show you an image of Mr. Phil here, but I do have a nice image of this uh, aging boomer hippie guy, and he looked kind of like this man. So for starters, we already got the look of him, but we also got to talk about the voice. Now, I guess the best thing I could describe would be maybe, honestly kind of like me, but really old. You know, it'd be like, did you get the, did you get the science assignment due today on uh, the the relative capacity for heat on water? You know, I live out in uh, I live out in Oakland where it's actually uh, the water. You know, uh, the water. There's a uh, we used to keep jugs of water to keep our feet warm. You know, if your feet are warm, you know the rest of your body's warm. And he kind of just he kind of talked like that. So I just want to first say that he, uh, you know, kind of just sounded baked, but there were a few other things he did that were uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. The first thing I can think of when it comes to his behavior is a little bit of his uh, Phil humor. So this was a uh, this was a prank that happened, and at this time, uh, this was the second trimester of my class in first period. So this was maybe like. December or January and it was probably like 45 degrees outside and So as we were doing this it rained the previous night and you know, mr. Phil here comes up and is like Hey, did you guys make sure to bring your uh, raincoats like I said and You know we we didn't bring our raincoats because he didn't say anything about it, but he continues on and he's like, oh I didn't, I didn't tell you guys Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. You should have. I hope you wore some clothes that you didn't like, because we're gonna be going out. We're gonna be going out to do some mud wrestling. And so I sit here and I think, okay, what are we doing? Why are we going mud wrestling? <laughs> and he he continues on. You know, he doesn't just stop there. He's like, yeah, I I dug out um. Yeah, I dug out a hole earlier this morning, and it's probably filled up with mud. We're gonna be playing a uh, uh, tug of war to figure out physics and we had we had actually played tug of war before in physics once for something about mass you know it's like if something has a bigger mass here like uh in you know um or a smaller mass than me you know it's like when i when i hit something you know let's think of a ball hitting a wall if the ball hits the wall you know the the wall has more mass so it can like push back the the ball but if ball hits the paper the paper doesn't have a lot of mass, so the ball exerts more force, and it makes the paper move. It was probably that. But, anyways, uh, he continues on with this joke, and he's like, Yeah, we're going to be playing Tug of War. I hope you guys are ready. I uh, hope you guys wore some clothes that you don't like. And at this point, you know, he's been going on this rant for like a minute now, and I start actually thinking, Oh, shit, we're going mud wrestling. My physics teacher is going to make me go mud wrestling. And he continues on. He's like, all right, all right, guys. All right, children. Let's get up and go mud wrestling. Let's go dance in the mud. Sometimes his voice would get loud like that and be like, yes, you get no pudding for you. Something like that. And so, you know, I actually think I'm like about to turn up. And then he's like, oh, don't worry. I'm just joking. <laughs> and I swear, I don't know if I'm just slow, but I, I he literally convinced me that we were going to be going mud wrestling. And he, he stuck to the bit for a while. But I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot. 
right, so the next thing we're gonna be looking at is his uh, music taste, you know? He sounds pretty weird, uh, his uh, sense of humor is pretty interesting, but what, what music does he listen to? Well, it's mostly just boomer music, literally. I mean, he fucking, he listens to Santana and The Who. And he would talk about, I mean, at one point he was talking about Pink Floyd. Just literally in the middle of class. He just stops and he's like, hey guys, you know, he shows the uh, album cover to animals. And he's just like, hey guys, you see that, you see that little thing in the background? That's like a, that's like a, a, a fake inflatable pig. Yeah. Uh, and he would just, he would just go on weird rants like that. That was like the first day I had him. But anyways, uh, this particular moment that we're going to be talking about is his moment of inspiration. When he starts talking about his uh, possible favorite song ever. I don't know for sure. Could not be, but he seemed to really like this song. And it was, uh, it was just kind of a U2 song. I don't know which one it was, but it was a U U2 song. I think at some point... You know, Bono was like, Levitation, uh, Excitation. And it was definitely by U2, so if I'm getting the lyrics wrong, and I'm actually, I'm actually singing some other song, I don't know anything about U2, so you guys can excuse me on that. But, you know, he was singing all these, like, single words that would, like, you know, rhyme, and they were inspirational. He starts talking, and he's like, you know, you've ever, uh, you, you guys have ever heard of this U2 song? Um, and so he start he starts going on and he's like, you know, I really needed to, uh, you know, this song really changed my life because, you know, before this, I was always so afraid of stuff. I was always so, uh, I was always so afraid to do everything. But this song, this song had just taught me to let go and let go to everything. Oh, and he starts like, you know, he starts like, you know, holding his hands out. It's so spiritual. And, you know, Phil here, he's just, you know, he's having a moment of enlightenment. It's like, you know, the Lord himself has reached upon us, you know, and you're already, my child. The power of you too will save you. I am your savior. And I have put myself in a, in a, in a throne of marijuana to enlighten you, my child, into the church of Phil. Uh, so yeah. That was uh, Mr. Phil. He he got some got some pretty interesting points here. He seems to like you too, I guess. He also believed that Spanish should be changed to the national language because he thinks it's more efficient. I don't think he's Spanish in any way. Uh, I just thought it was pretty interesting. So, anyways, uh, that's gonna be the end of the uh, you know the first episode possibly of. My physics teacher, Phil, I know it's a bit schemey to, uh, you know, make a short video that's just long enough to be monetized, but, you know, I'm sorry, what can I say? I've got to pay my bills here, as Mr. Oftedal may or may not have said. So, yeah, I got, I got to pay my bills, you know, and so, yeah, we've just got to, we've got to end this. You can like and subscribe, and, uh, yeah, if you want to hear more videos about Phil, then tell me about Phil. So anyways, I'll uh, see you guys later. I'm Diogenes Vlogs, and uh, peace, man.